Was that on? Well, it'll probably be dead very quickly. I think we have some other ones around too. I have another headset. Okay. If you need anything. Let me see. Her first lawyer put those on her back. Sit to the right. I'm going to turn mine off. Sorry, I didn't see any of that. You have to do it again. <laughs> your best half passes instead of just half passes that you're not blocking him then he's honestly around that left uh, inside leg whichever direction you're going and his haunches in on a diagonal something you think about as a half pass yeah you know you, you might play with that as well so you've got a uh, half pass and leg yield mix. Mm -hmm. So you're focusing on that inside leg. Um, half pass to straight ahead or half pass to straight ahead shoulder in. Mm -hmm. And then haunches in on a diagonal line. All to play with it. This is going to take a while to break a bad habit. Yeah. A very common bad habit. Okay, let's go straight ahead again, and here on the wall, let's do a turn on the haunches. He's such a good boy. He really is. So after Emma, turn on the haunches. Job. Uh, 
and here on the short side of Canada. What's that? Canada. Oh, thank you. Ah, see, you did it again. It's when I touch my arm. Okay, let's walk again. I want to experiment. If it goes bad, it's my fault. Okay, just walking. Just walking. Good. And on the wall, halt. See again. He should halt. Go back. You halt. Which would have been fine if he was four years old. And walk. Now, I want you to do absolutely nothing with your hands. Just follow. Just walk. Just walk. relax a little. Chill. Drink. Now, and and canter. Right now. Go. Okay. What were you missing? Yeah, but what was missing in the Canada part? Energy. Uh, maybe a little. Engagement. Uh, <laughs> all of it was better than jigging. <laughs> Good. And now let's stay on the circle and let's see a little bit of pirouette again. Short camp. Supple. Now again, your, your hips stay down in the saddle, your arms stay elastic. Yeah. Good. And fold. Good. Forward. Now again, I'm going to challenge you to be to do everything you're doing a little more promptly. And shorten. Right away. Right away. And back. And, and go back to normal camp. Um, if you ask him to come back gradually, he's much more likely to stay horizontal. Okay. If you make him come back promptly, he's much more likely to sit. Okay. And again, short camp. Take a chance. Oh, oh. Okay. Try it again. Oh. Legs back just a little. And forward. Good. Yeah, better. Yeah, and shorten again. Hips in. Oh, oh. Oh. Lower. Lower. More woe. More woe. Try a little more. Lower. And out. Good girl. And patty. Good boy. Ah. A little bit more active. Yeah. Good. And again, short count. Right back, right back, right back. Ho! Oh. Oh. Ho! And out. Good. Out. Yeah. And then the question is, you get he gets beautifully uphill in the short canter. How long can you maintain it as you go forward? And once again, short count. On his butt. Forward. Up and out. Elastic. Out. Go. 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 Ah. Little half halt. Active. Give him a little whip. Now, I'm sorry. Go continue normal collected canter. And when I say half halt, I want to see a real half halt. Not shortening, but one sit down strong. And forward. In other words, we did the prolonged thing first. Now I want to see a little bit of the same result more promptly. And shorten. And half hold. Oh, go. Go. Quick, quick, quick. And one or two strides. Whoa. Sit and forward. Forward. Count to two. Yeah. Not too forward. I'm just saying normal. Okay. Quick wall normal. That made didn't really make him sit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
and forward. Good. Good. And again. Short and forward. And forward. Don't maintain it. There's two different things we're doing. One is really short, taking more strides, which is, you know, a strengthening exercise. And then the other is more of a response exercise. Okay. Right now. And a little we'll go. Go. Yeah. Good. Nice canter. And canter to wall. I have to commend you. I don't often see people that do consistently good canter walks. <laughs> and to me, that's one of the telling exercises. And the quality of the training. So, I shouldn't get up as early in the morning as I did this morning. <laughs> Um, what do you think? That was really helpful. I have to expect his reactions to be much quicker and expect myself to stay just, just stop here. much softer. Well, my elastic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, more elastic. So and that I don't block him. You don't block, but also, going back to when I stopped you here, elastic that you don't abandon him to be soft. Right. Which isn't being soft, that's just abandoning. Mm -hmm. um, he just isn't happy with his tongue either. No, he's and always, he's always been, been like that. that. Yeah. You get him like that. It's funny, he really looks like... Maybe I should play with some different samples. I would. Okay. I would. I mean, he really looks unhappy, you know. It's, it's, you know, it's like he's trying desperately to do something. Mm -hmm. He really likes something. Anyway, um, promptness. You know, that's that should be part of it. I mean, again, think of how when he was four years old, how you got a canter. He walked, you picked up the trot. In the beginning, you even speed up the trot, you get a canter. Now he goes beautifully walk canter. So why isn't he going? And he goes beautifully canter walk. Why is and he goes beautifully walk trot? Why isn't he going beautifully trot walk? Mm -hmm. This that, that match your cat yeah. walk and walk halt or just halt that match it. Um, now I did something that um, worked incredibly well for me, and I've had some people. Well, you just don't want to exaggerate. My horses learn from this stage on that lower leg back a little bit. Not dramatic, but just bringing both legs back, not pushing, just bringing both legs back, basically meant don't break. Okay. Meaning this, you know, it's, it's a normal piape to bring both legs back. That's what most people do. A lot of people do for piape. You know, it's, you bring both legs back in a place you don't normally use them except for piape. I always also used it for pirouette canter, you know, bringing the legs back, and they came pretty... You know, I think they really understood. Whatever gate you're in, don't break. <laughs> okay. Keep your legs moving. And um, as I said, my horses learned it pretty, very easily. Mm -hmm. and, and I think help me not break coming into the pirouette, you know, maintaining that yeah, my leg is back, you keep those legs moving, I don't care how they move, you just keep those legs moving, <laughs> uh, kind of thing. Um, so I just throw that out, that that's a little bit of a, we're shortening, but don't break. Yeah. Whoa, but don't break. Because that's such a fine line of whoa, but don't break. Yeah. Yeah, that may make um, it more clear. Yeah. 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 And he's in that stage of learning all this, so it's a good time to, hi there. You're tired. Your little hind legs are all parked out. Um, I think you're doing a super job. Thank you very much. Um, he looks fairly even in both directions. He looks quite straight most of the time. Um, and he's in he's in the getting fit stage. Yeah. You know, it's not that he has to learn any tricks. 
He just has to get stronger. And as you said, he can break the old horse. Um, and uh, make sure you get that, that strength, because he's going to need it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there's a wonderful saying, and I hate the word professional and amateur because it has nothing to do with riding level, but we'll use it in this sort of normal context. A uh, an amateur practices until they get it right. A professional practices until they can't do it wrong. <laughs> and that's what I challenge you. Okay. You shouldn't be doing some of these things wrong. You shouldn't make some of these mistakes. You're too good a rider. And you ride, I think, a lot of horses. Yeah. There's plenty of time to practice. You know, the little breaks, the haunches leading. Those little things mm -hmm. shouldn't happen. Okay. So I just challenge you to raise your standard this much. But you've got a good standard, but raise it a little more. Yes, absolutely. Okay? Thank you so much. Super. That was a good, good job. job. Nice, nicely done. Very nice. That was a treat. <laughs>